How's it going everybody? Today I want to talk about what the best insulation is when you're making a soundproof studio. This is a, actually a very contentious topic on the internet I've found and there's a lot of back and forth about needing to use certain insulations. So if you want to get the lowdown on what I think personally has worked best for me and uh, makes for a great soundproof studio, stick around. Let's jump in right now. <laughs> All right, so this video is honestly not gonna be that complicated, um, but I do wanna dispel some myths. So everyone was like completely aghast when I said that I am using regular pink insulation in my walls, the cheap stuff, the stuff that goes in any home, um, and then I did not use rock wool. And rock wool insulation, for those of you guys know, you can get it at Home Depot or any big box uh, hardware store. And this stuff is a little bit more expensive and it says on it that it's soundproofing and sound dampening and it really doesn't do that much. So I did use it, I will explain this, and this is how I know how well it works, is in my home before I built this soundproof studio in my backyard that I'm in right now, I built a wall in a room and made a laundry room and a bedroom. I split up this big room and, and that's what I made, two separate rooms. In between that wall, now this wall was not soundproof by any means, but I had the choice of putting in insulation and I decided, ah, oh, let's use rock wool insulation because it can't hurt. And I do think it was better than no insulation at all. And I think it was better than maybe the pink insulation, the cheap stuff. At the end of the day, because I was not building a soundproof wall, the way I've explained it in other videos and I'm gonna talk a little bit about here, um, it didn't make that much of a difference and to be honest, I don't know if I'd pay the extra money for it. Now, what I did in the soundproof studio is that I actually built the double wall system. So we had our outside wall framed like normal, and then there's a one inch air gap in between that wall. And then we framed a whole nother set of walls all the way around the studio. And then I put the insulation in there, in that cavity. And now the insulation did fill up the cavity between both walls, but there was still that one inch air gap um, in there. So the, the insulation expands a little bit, so it kind of fills that whole space, but the walls themselves are not touching. Remember, insulation is just insulation. It's not really gonna transmit that much sound as much as like an actual wood beam connecting two walls would. The reason why you don't need to spend a lot of money on insulation, like if you're gonna insulate an entire studio with rock wool, it'll cost you maybe even twice as much as it would have cost you to use just pink insulation. And the reason is that the actual soundproofing properties of your wall is in the design of the wall itself. So having that one inch air gap, having the two layers of drywall with green glue in between. If you don't know what I'm talking about, definitely check out another one of our videos on how to build a wall, which I'll have in the notes below. But just as a general overview, that is what you really need to worry about. You can use a hat channel system as well. I'm a fan of these two wall type systems, the hat channel system, and then the full one inch air gap with the other framed wall as well. The other thing you wanna think about with insulation is if you did what I did and built a studio in your backyard and it's just out there in the elements, you wanna get insulation that is rated, has an R value that's fairly high for your climate. Now we used R30, which is the R value, and that is suitable for a moderate climate. We're in Nashville, so we get some pretty cold winters and some pretty hot summers, but we're not like up in Minnesota where it's just like below zero the whole winter. So definitely check out what R value, and you can look that up on Google real quick and see where you are in the United States or in the world and what R value would work best for your studio, but that's all you need to do. It's, it's basic insulation. Don't waste your money on the expensive stuff. And that is what I really wanted to hit home in this video. So if you've enjoyed this video today, please check out my free soundproofing course below. That will give you so much more information in order, teaching you the basics, the fundamentals of how to build a soundproof home recording studio or even a soundproof room. Whatever you wanna do with it, it'll be soundproof. So definitely check that out, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Come back every week, I'll give you some more information on soundproofing in general and making your home studio incredible. Until then, I'll see y'all later.